Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Good evening. Oh, Good evening. Right. Ahora sí me escuchan. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. Hello. Se había congelado Zoom. Ok, pero aquí estás. Ok, I'm ready. Hi, class. It's nice to see you. How are you today? I'm fine. You're fine. Yes. I'm happy. You're happy tonight. Oh, it's it's so nice to hear that. Great job, Norma. Anna Jamilet. All right, Anna, Jeffrey, that's all right. Gracias, chicos, por el esfuerzo de estar conectados, aunque sea de oyentes, pero aquí los tenemos. Okay, what day is today, class? Today is? Yeah. It's Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday what? Wednesday, June 1st. There you go. 21st. 21st. 21. 21st. We need to use or tell numbers. Ordinal okay. numbers. 21st. Okay. Ya ven, por eso repasamos siempre. Great job. 21st, 2023. In today's class, as you may remember, we have been expressing ideas with the use of the simple past, okay? We are going to talk about just one verb, some actions or some activities that probably they were part of a routine, but not anymore. We stop doing those activities or those routines. And now we can say that we are not longer going to, we are not going to continue doing those activities. Okay? Vámonos, no perdamos ningún minutito. Let me show you what we have for today. This is class number. What class is this? Number, one, three, three. number three, yes. Three. Uh, by the way, did you practice the pronunciation of verbs? Regular and irregular verbs? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> solo recibieron el PDF <laughs> file. A saber, ¿dónde está el PDF que me envió? You know, right? Yo sé que practicaron. ¿Hacemos una práctica? Yes. Yes. Vaya, yes. reto, 10 verbos y ustedes me dicen el pasado. ¿Sí? ¿Listos? Okay. Sí, pero no es. I'm ready, but not. Let me see. ¿Dónde está el PDF? A la mano, aquí. Let's go to WhatsApp right now. I'm going to download it. No hagan trampa, pues. <laughs> Sleep. 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 Drink. Sleep. Drink. Drown. Okay. Drown. Jump. Ese sí no me acuerdo cómo pronunciarles. Jump. 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 
Jump. Jump. Jump. Go class, jump. What is the correct pronunciation of that verb in the I don't language? remember. You don't remember? Jumped. Okay, how about complete? What is the simple part of complete? Complete. Completed. Completed. Watch. 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 Drink. Drink water. Drink. Drink. Drink the past. Drunk. 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 Mm -hmm. drink drunk. and drunk. Drunk es el, el participio. Muy bien. Okay. Ya ni sé cuánto llevamos. Díganme ustedes otros. Mm. Fly. Fly. Uh, ese es un irregular. Fly. Mm -hmm. ah, ¿Qué piensan? Es, ah, class, no duden pues. Vamos seguros. Fly. Entonces el reto es saberlo pronunciar. Al final se lo vuelvo a preguntar. Class number three, we are going to cover. I guess this is the last topic from section number five. Yes, I guess. Statements with use. Escuchen el pasado de use. Use is the present form of the base form. Used. Used to. Used. Exactly. So, let me bring you some examples. Don't you worry. No, tranquila. Estamos en casa. Muchas veces se comprende. Don't worry. No, no. Te ayudo. Don't worry. Ya la ayudo. <laughs> used to. When are we going to use used to? Si se fijan, esta es una expresión fija. We cannot take the expression to out of this grammar topic. Va unida el used to. Es una expresión fija, ¿ok? ¿Qué creen que le sigue después del to? ¿Qué hay verb? ¿Qué tipo de verbos? ¿Qué redacción le voy a dar? This is what we need to do. If you go to the platform, of course, there you are going to find some information, some exercises, and even a video in which you can listen to a different type of explanation, you know? But at the end, we are going to have the same result. So this is class number three, and we are going to cover statements with used to. By the way, class, whenever we say statements, to what am I referring to? ¿Qué es un statement? ¿A qué me refiero con statements? ¿Cuál es that, class? ¿Cuáles son los tipos de statements que tengo en English? What are the type of statements that I have in English? Desde ahí, vámonos. Or can you give me a synonym for a statement? Deme un synonym for a statement. Information, declaration. Information, declaration. No, no vayamos tan lejos. Algo que ya conocen. Look. Ok. Sentences. Sentences. Este es un sinónimo. Si yo digo un statement, sentences. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entonces? Tengo tres tipos de statements. I have affirmative, negative or negative, and question or interrogative. Okay. Entonces, cuando yo le digo un statement, es una oración, puede ser o afirmativa, negativa o interrogativa. Y si lo pongo en plural, entonces, ¿qué es lo que vamos a ver ahora? Statements. Yes. Oraciones afirmativas, negativas e interrogativas con used, used to. to. Yes. Used. 
Esta palabra nos ayuda a encajar con todos los tipos de oraciones. Para no repetir afirmative sentences, negative sentences, interrogative sentences with used to, ah, lo pongo en una categoría. Statement. Sí. ¿Sí? Ya vieron qué es eso entonces. Cada vez que lo lean, recuerden esto. Statements. Abarca ese tres, esos tres tipos. Yes. Ahora sí quedó yes. claro el tema. Statements sí. with used to. Perfecto. There we go. Ok, look, I have two illustrations. Can you help me out to read the information that we have there? Let's read the first example, the first picture. What can you tell me about this first picture? Deme la ilustración. What is he saying? I. I used to be boring. Okay, now. Now I have a mustache. Okay, what is the idea? ¿Qué quiere decirnos él? I. Yes. I used to. I used to be boring. boring, not anymore. Now I have a mustache. Do you know the meaning of mustache? What is a mustache? Huh? Okay, so is he still boring or not? <laughs> O sea, que preclusir ah, siempre, ¿no? ¿Sigue, ¿Sigue siendo aburrido o ya no? ¿Ah? No. No. ¿Cuándo es que fue aburrido? ¿No? no tenía. En el pasado ya no es aburrido porque tiene un monstruo. Sí. Chicos, pueden decir eso, pueden afirmar eso. Los chicos con mustache no son aburridos así. Right? Eso no, creo que no depende, ¿no? In the past, tell me about Garfield. What can you tell me about this picture? I used to exercise. I used to exercise, but I'm fine now. ¿Qué nos quiere decir Garfield? What is he saying? I used to... What is he expressing? Solía ser exercise. Ajá. ¿Cuántas veces creen que hizo? Tal vez one, two times, three times, right? ¿Era una rutina o no? Yes, it was. <laughs> I used to exercise. ¿Cuándo se ejercitaba? ¿Se sigue ejercitando? No, right? Dejamos mm. esa acción finalizada cuando? In the, the past. past. But I'm fine now. Pero hoy estoy bien. Gordito, pero... Feliz, I'm fine Feliz. now, right? Ven, entonces, vamos dando ideas ahorita. ¿De qué se trata el used to? An activity that probably it was a routine in the past, but I decided to stop doing that activity. So in the present, I am given a different idea. ¿Sí? ¿Ven el contraste entre el pasado y el presente? Yes. Yes. Ok. Una acción que finalizó por completo, pero más que todo nos sirve para reportar rutinas. Cosas que yo hacía, pero ahora ya no las hago. So that is the use of used to. Let me give you a short explanation. When are we going to use used to? This expression is used to describe, it can be an action, just one action or habit that was common in the past, but not anymore, yes? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entonces entre acción y hábito? A action or habit me está haciendo específico. What is an action? What is a habit? ¿Qué es un hábito? Un hábito. Uh -huh. Algo que se hace constantemente. Constantemente. ¿Cuánto uh -huh. tiempo nos toma formar un hábito? ¿Han leído eso alguna uh -huh. vez? How much time do we need 
to repeat an activity in order for it to become a habit. Like 10 or 20 days. No, estoy segura si son 10 days, probably, or 20 days. But we repeat the same action. So what is an action? Probably we can express this activity as a one-time activity. One-time activity. Entonces, ¿qué concluimos? Used to, it can be to describe a one-time activity, repeated activities that were common in the past. In the past, but not anymore. Pero no más, se acaban. Yes? All right, let's continue. Look. We have some statements, some affirmative sentences. Number one, uh, Helmer, can you please help me out with number one? Read the idea for number one. And Edma, can you please read number two? Go okay. please, Helmer. I cannot hear you. I don't know if it's just me or the class. No, we can't. So, no. Si lo escuchan ustedes a Elmer o solo yo no lo escucho? I don't can hear. You cannot, right? You cannot hear him. So what's going on? So don't you worry, Elmer. Try to fix that issue and then I'm going to give you the opportunity to participate in a different exercise, okay? So Elma, number one, Norma, number two. Go please, girls. Okay. I used, I used to be crazy about soda, but now I don't care for it. All right. So, Number two. We used it to travel to the United States every year when I was a child. When I was a child. Okay. Tell me about soda. Será que esto fue one time, una vez que la tomó? Or I used to be crazy about soda. Right? Muchas veces. ¿Qué es lo que pasa ahora? But now, <laughs> I, <laughs> ya no me interesa. I don't care for it. I can live without drinking soda. Miren esta acción repetitiva. We used to travel to United States porque sé que es constante because we use an expression exactly that is reflecting the amount of times in which we were making or doing that activity every year muchas veces cuando no puedo calcular las veces que hicimos esa acción es cuando le llamo en action Un hábito cuando puedo leer, verificar. Yes, in this case, an idea. Every year, yes. Siguiente ejemplo, next example. How about negative statements, negative sentences? Helmer, can you participate now? Let me see if I can hear you. No, I guess we cannot. We cannot hear you. So, I don't know what to do. Tal vez si se sale y vuelve a entrar el mic, tal vez así le funcione el microphone, please. Okay, Jonathan, Alexander, and Stephanie. One and one, please. Read the examples. Negative statements. He didn't used to play video games. Now he does. Okay. Go, please, Stephanie. Thank you, Jonathan. I didn't. Stephanie Perez, I didn't use to. Uh, I didn't <laughs> use to like seafood, but now I do. Okay. ¿Qué podemos ver con los negativos? Thank you, Stephanie. That we are using an auxiliary verb in the simple past. So what does it mean if I am using an auxiliary verb in the statement? 
the verb is not going to change. So I want you to remember about this information. Didn't, an auxiliary for the past. So it means that the main verb is not going to change. So he didn't used to play video game. How about now? Now he does. He plays video games. I didn't used to like seafood, but now I do. Yes? No me gustaba, ahora sí. No jugaba, ahora sí. Tomaba soda, pero ahora no. Entonces, ¿cuál es la tendencia si se fijan? If I am making an affirmative statement at the beginning of the idea, it means that I am going to make a contrast. Tengo que hacer un contraste, obviamente. Si digo algo afirmativo, at the end, I need to express the opposite, the other way around. On the other hand, if I am trying to give an example or an idea about negative statements, actions that I don't do anymore, I need to express the opposite for the present. I need to say that now I am doing that action. Probably in the past I didn't do that action, but now I do it. Okay? So do you see the contrast? I am comparing information about things that I did in the past, but now I don't. Things that I didn't do, but now we do. Okay? Do we have then interrogative statements? Of course we do. How do we make questions? If you see, and if you go to make a question, in this case, you're not going to compare. You are just going to ask for information. What kind of questions can you make? Those questions that we call just no questions, or you can even dig into this information. Pueden profundizar un poquito más. Ask for more information. Did you used to prepare the dinner at home? Yes, I did. Why did you used to smoke a lot? Uh, because I was facing some stress issues. Okay? Entonces, para hacer preguntas, puedo hacer las yes, no questions. Y puedo hacer las information questions. ¿Sí? Paremos por acá. ¿Cómo vamos con la información? Vamos despacio por si hay interrogantes. Questions about this part of the topic. Preguntas. O alguien que me, que me diga si vamos bien, mal, si quieren que repitamos. This is the time because I need to check the attendance list. ¿Cómo vamos clase? I need to listen to you. Yes. It's okay for me. Teacher. It's okay for you. How about for the rest of the class? Yes. Yo tengo una duda. Go, please. This is the time for you to ask. Este puede poner otra vez la diapositiva. Sure. I was just looking for the attendance <laughs> list. Go, please. What's your question? O sea, cuando usamos el use, el, el use, no sé, si, por ejemplo, we used to travel. Siempre que se usa así la forma de use, el verbo va a ir en presente. Sí, si son oraciones afirmativas, claro, mm -hmm. el verbo lo expreso en pasado. Mm -hmm. ¿Sí? Porque estoy diciendo una idea afirmativa, pero el verbo lo redacta en pasado. Ok, gracias. Para negativos e interrogativos, no importa si hablo en presente o en pasado, siempre uso auxiliares. Y el verbo auxiliar, ¿cuál es su función clase? ¿Qué hace un verbo auxiliar? Es un auxiliar. Yes. The verb is in support, in base form. 
Exactly. If I have an auxiliary verb of any type, the main verb is going to stay the same in the base form. It's not going to change. Why not? Because the auxiliary verb is already doing that. The auxiliar hace ya esa acción, toma esa acción. Yes. Otra cosa que quiero que noten. Probably we are just giving, oh no, estamos dando información también de una tercera persona, de third person. Lo mismo aplica para todos los sujetos en la forma negativa. We don't need to change the verb. But if we are referring to the third person in affirmative sentences, it's going to stay the same. But affirmativo, igual. El verbo quedaría como used. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos hablando de una forma pasada y se va a conjugar igual para todos. Yes. Ya vamos a ver un poco más de detalle de eso. But let me check the attendance list. All right. What day is today? We said today is the 21st. 20, 21st. Right? 21st. Aquí está su grupo. Here we go. Remember, you need to say it here or present. Here we go. Estamos el primero en la lista. Eh, Ana Yamilet Hernández. Ana Yamilet Hernández Martínez. Not here today. Ok. Cristina Claribel Chavarría. Cristina Claribel Chavarría. Gracias, Cristina. Ya le puse la asistencia. Diana Abigail Alvarado. Present. All right, Diana. Edma Azalea Marina Peña. Present teacher. There you go. Edwin Alexander Hercules. <clears throat> Alex Edwin Alexander. Elí Antonio Sandoval. Present. All right, Georgina Beatriz Perez. Present. All right, excellent. Elmer Antonio Landaverde. Ah, there you are, Elmer. You couldn't fix it. Don't you worry. Jeffrey Mauricio Guzman. Ah, Jeffrey. Here we go. Okay, Here. No, there, yep. there we go. Jennifer Raquel Ayala. Jennifer Raquel Ayala. Jonathan Alexander Molina. I'm here, teacher. There you are, excellent. Catherine Yasmin Guatemala. Present, teacher. All right, excellent. Laura Concepción Mena. Present, teacher. Okay, Laura. Luz nos escribía en el chat, ¿verdad? Luz Clara is right yes. here. Thank yes. <laughs> Margarita Abigail Tobías. Present teacher. All right, Margarita, Mario, Eduardo Sura. Present. Okay, Mario. Marlon and Nilsson Perez. I'm here. All right, <coughs> excellent. Melvin Gerardo Canales. Present teacher. All right, Melvin. Norma Elizabeth Callejas. Present. Ok, Norma, Norma Elizabeth Lizano de Quinteros. Present teacher. Ok, excellent. Rosa Yvette García. Present teacher. All right, Yvette. Silvia Lizette Melara. Present teacher. Ok, Silvia and Stephanie Yamilet Pérez. Present. Muy bien. Jennifer Raquel, me hacía falta, Edwin Alexander y Ana Chamilet. Sí, vaya, por si se conectan, me indican para ponerles la asistencia. Revisemos entonces la structure. What is the structure that we are going to use? 
Uh, esto se lo voy a compartir también en WhatsApp. Don't you worry. I want you to listen first. Try to notice if you have questions. And then you're going to receive the same information, the same picture. So you can write those examples. Okay. Affirmative statements. I can easily use any of the pronouns or subjects at the beginning. What do we need to add then? Use to. And then we are going to have the base form of any verbs. Bath, the verb to be. ¿Qué pasa si ocupo todos los verbos? Here, it's going to stay in the main form. ¿Y qué si quiero ocupar el verbo to be? ¿Será que lo puedo ocupar? ¿Sí? ¿O no? Yeah. ¿Pero qué pasaría con el verb to be? What is going to happen? The verb to be is going to stay in the based form. El verbo to be igual no se conjugaría. So I used to be. No importa qué verbo sea, no se conjuga. It's going to stay the same. In the case of negative statements, the same. I can use any of the pronouns, personal pronouns at the beginning. I was mentioning this before. As I already have an auxiliary verb, the verb is not going to change. I don't need to write the verb using the past form. It's going to remain the same. So, let's write the same example. What if I want to use the verb to be? I will need to do the same, okay? Verbo no cambiaría. I didn't used to be. Okay? ¿Qué pasa con las preguntas? Será lo mismo, ¿verdad? Yes, I can use the verb to be or any other verb and the verb is not going to change. Okay, that's it. ¿Qué podemos entonces retomar de acá, recalcar? Ninguno de los verbos. El verbo to be no es excepción, not really. Cualquiera de los verbos en inglés, igual, no se va a conjugar con ninguno de los verbos. Claro, caso contrario es si sí, estamos hablando de otra estructura, pero hablamos del pasado, de simple past form. Okay? So I have affirmative, negative, and interrogative forms in English. Of course, in order to express activities that I used to do in the past, but not anymore. Yes, preguntas. Preguntas sobre este ejercicio. Questions about this. O nos vamos a la práctica ya. Can we go to the practice now? Sí. I go to the practice. Let's go to the practice. Take a look at this one. Les traje simplemente, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, five exercises about activities that probably back in the days people used to do. ¿Qué cosas hacían las personas hace un par de años? Pensemos antes de ver el ejercicio. No nos vayamos tan lejos. Before the pandemic. What are the things that we used to do before the pandemic? Think about that. But today, if we make a comparison, we can see a change. Haga una comparación. Cosas que hacíamos... Y que ahora no, o al contrario, cosas que no hacíamos y que ahora sí. Give me an example. Yes. Cosas que no hacíamos y cosas que ahora sí. O lo opuesto. For example, saben que las clases virtuales es un ejemplo. Denme esa idea. Hagan el contraste de información. Before the pandemic, we didn't used to have online classes, but now we do. Ven el contraste. 
¿Teníamos clases virtuales o oh, sí? ¿Alguien tuvo clases virtuales antes? Did you have online classes before the pandemic? Not mm -hmm. right. Never. Probably some other type of activity, but not an English class. Okay. ¿Qué otras cosas no hacíamos antes de la pandemia? Ideas. Before the pandemic, mm -hmm. we didn't know wear masks. Exactly. We didn't wear masks or face masks. But face. now. I use. I use words no. Yeah, probably sometimes we do, but we do, right? We are aware of that. How about to wash our hands constantly? Give me yes. the idea, please. Before the pandemic. Yes. Before the pandemic. We. We did wash our hands. Okay, we didn't wash our hands that often, but now, no. <laughs> now we do probably. Give me another example. Let me see. ¿A quién le pedimos? Marlon, ¿qué otra idea se le ocurre? Before the pandemic. ¿Qué no hacíamos antes de la pandemia y que ahora sí? Before the pandemic. Los demás piensen también algún ejemplo. For me, before the pandemic, uh, I used to have more time to more time to go out. But now? But now I don't. You don't? Okay, interesting. Marlon, elige a alguien de la clase. Pick one of the, the classmates. Get um, ready, please. Este, Silvia. Silvia, Silvia Lisette, right? Silvia, can you give me an example? Um, uh, before the, the pandemic, before the, uh, the people used to um, go to Cinema. Okay. Uh, more, more. Okay, more often, probably. But now? Now, uh, it is, um, um, no sé cómo decirlo. They don't. They Ahora don't. ellos ya no, they don't. <laughs> they don't. There we go. Excellent. Yvette and then Melvin. Thank you, Sylvia. Go please. Okay, teacher. Before the pandemic, didn't use the to use mask, and now yes. Now we do, right? There we go. Great idea, Yvette. Jeffrey, no, it's no. It was not Jeffrey. Who was the other one? Marlon, right? And then you, Jeffrey. Oh, Melvin. It was Melvin. Go please. Uh, before the pandemic, I did to home office. But now I do. There we go. Eso sí lo amo de la pandemic. We didn't do home office, but now we do. <laughs> me, yes, me we love it. I love it. You know, excellent. I love it too. Okay, Jeffrey, give me your idea, and then we are going to read the chat. Okay, oh. before the pandemic, uh, we didn't used to use the alcohol help exactly for the hands, uh, but now. But now I do. Now we do. we do, we do. We you do, know, we do. All the time. You know, let me tell you something because I have a kid. My kid is seven years old. So whenever we get to a place, he is always asking, hey, where can I wash my hands or where is the hell? Because I need to put on some health. And he asked me someday, eh, mom, how about eh, before? Antes como lucía el alcohol gel, me dijo. And I told him, you know, this is new for me. We didn't even wash our hands before eating, right? Yeah, yeah, but that's right. Now we do. So, 
Ellos crecieron ya con el alcohol gel, but we didn't do that before, right? But imagine these new generations, yeah. probably <laughs> they need to adapt to those kind of activities. There mm -hmm. we go. Eli nos dice un ejemplo. ¿Quién nos ayuda a leer el de Eli? Before. It says before the pandemic. Oh, right. A vaccination card was not necessary. But now it is. Yeah. If you want to travel outside the country, right? There are some places in which they ask you to present the vaccination card. If not, they are not allowing you to come into that place or country. Wow, the pandemic, right? Vaya, pero ya no hablamos de la pandemic, enfoquémonos en otras cosas. ¿Qué hacía la gente muchísimos antes? ¿Qué años? Leamos los años. What years are we going to refer to? Vamos a referirnos a qué años. 1926. All right, number two. 1879. Number three class. 1608, oh, 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 oh. ni siquiera mm, ah, éramos, creo que, <risa> ni sé cómo que, no sé que era. <risa> Exacto, éramos polvo, no, no, ni sé qué éramos, que no existíamos. <risa> Quiero que comparen, primero redacten, you are going to make an statement, todas estas, sí, van a ser oraciones afirmativas. Write about what people used to do before this invention. Number one, back in the days in 1926, people used to read more books. But now, como complementan idea, but now, don't have a television. But now, aquí está la idea. Quieren que complementen con television. Television. But now people watch televisions. Me encanta, ¿sí? Comparen, entonces. Esto es lo que hacíamos antes del de invento de la televisión. Piensen en una idea. ¿Qué se hacía antes con antes de no tener luz eléctrica. ¿Qué hacía la gente? No sé si se comprende qué es lo que van a redactar. Antes de la televisión. People used to in their houses. People used to. ¿sí? People used to. to candles. Candles. Lit. In their, their houses. Encender. Lit. Lit candles. Lit candles. Vale, entonces los envío a grupos. Cinco minutos, try to bring those ideas to the main room at the end of this activity. Piensen cómo ha cambiado los inventos a nuestra vida. ¿Serán cambios positivos o negativos? I don't know. You will tell me at the end. I'm going to send this picture to WhatsApp and you're going to make a speaking practice for Did you get the picture? Just right. Lo envié al grupo correcto. Yes, this is the one. So, mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Saben que a veces me pasa, lo envío a otros grupos. Por eso les pregunto, mm -hmm. did you get the picture? No, me dice, oh, es que lo envié al grupo de las seis, digo yo. So, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Yes, it happens. Hagamos grupos pequeñitos. Tres a cuatro. Go class. I'm going to be listening to you. If you need help with the vocabulary, I'm going to be there. Go, please. There we go. Speaking time. Bring those ideas to the class. Go ahead, please. Yes. There we go.
Elmer, did you fix your microphone? No, you couldn't. Se le arregló el micrófono, Elmer. No, I can not hear you. ¿Qué será? Quiero ver si me aparece. Just let me see. Pero fíjese que sí me aparece encendido. Y me parece que tiene un dispositivo. ¿Qué será? I don't know. There we go, girls. All right, guys, remember this is a speaking practice. So, is it clear what you're going to do or not? Is the activity clear? Sería de, de este, hacer los ejemplos que mandó la imagen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Si quieren les ayuda a proyectar. Vamos, speak in practice. Quiero escucharlos hablando. Go, please. Practice your English right now. Number two. What do you think about number two, Eli and Catherine? Solo que sí, me da un momentito. Mientras yo lo, lo copio acá. No se preocupe, vamos, hágalo. Take your time. Are you there, Catherine? Catherine está por ahí. Yes, sí, sí. <laughs> Catherine, quedó, quedó clara la actividad. ¿Es clear? Yes, sí, sí. All right. So, talk to Eli. Keep your ideas, and Eli is going to do the same. Okay? Go, please, speak in time. Oh, so people used to um, candles. Oh, candles. But what is the action? How do you say encender? Look for the verb, please. Busquen ese verbo. How do you say encender? Y luego dicen encender candelas. Yes. Any idea, Catherine? like okay to light people used to like candles mm -hmm. but también está este verbo man. lit l i t l i t lit puede ser lit or light candles me encanta ese otro que buscaron lit or light candles ¿Sí? qué más hacía la gente antes de la eh, electric lights Inventions. ¿Qué hacían? ¿O solo esa idea se les ocurre? Encender candelas. ¿Ya? How many, how many children? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, pero es que será antes de la televisión, creo yo, la número uno. Ah, no, quizás. Yeah, right. <laughs> Have a lot of children or kids. How many children? Antes de las alarm clocks. Piensen, ¿qué hacía antes la gente para despertarse si no tenían una alarm clock? Number three. What did they do? Yes. Um, the growing <laughs> of the rosters. Yeah, right. Wait carefully for the call of the rooster. Que el gallo can y si no lo escuchaban. Oh no, what a problem, right? Vale, los dejo acá. Les hacen falta like two, two ideas, and then you come okay. back. Hey, amazing job. Continue Thank working. You. If you try to, you, you try to, to learn the English, you need to watch the English. Great recommendation, Jeffrey, of course. You need to listen to and practice English. Okay. Great job, guys. 
Yeah, Keep we are talking about that. All right. Okay, yeah. interesting. Did you finish with these ideas? No. No? <laughs> Come on, guys. No. This is what not we yet. need to do right now. Not yet. Okay, so I'm going to be here listening to you in case that you need help. I'm going to be ready to help. Go, please. Number two, think about that. Okay. Electric light. Um, maybe it could be uh, the people used to uh, fire bird. Uh, I forget it, the uh, fogata. How can I say fogata in, in English? Mm -hmm. Okay, Coach. Georgina, Elwin. How do you say fogata? Bon. Bonfire. Bonfire. Mm -hmm. Bonfire. Bonfire. Yes. Mm -hmm. The people used to use bonfire. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál es el verbo encender in English? What's the verb? Mm -hmm. Listen, this is in the present. What is the past form of light? We just add ed. No. Mm. Lit. We can no. use this one or we can use light candle. Light. light. Lit. To light. ¿Se acuerdan que el verbo si usamos used to, the verb is not going to change. It's going to remain. Yeah, in the base. Por eso decimos light. People used to. Used to light. Yes, light candles, probably bonfires. Ah, okay. Ah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> okay, how about Georgina and Edwin? Are you there, guys? Because I can only hear and see Jeffrey and Jonathan. Tell me about before alarm clocks invention. What people used to do? Uh, maybe uh, mm -hmm. the people used to wake up to the sounds of roosters. Yeah, right. <laughs> they were waiting for the cold of the rooster, right? How about now? Does it work? Or can we live without alarm clocks or not? Not right. What do you do in order to wake up every morning? I have an idea for that. Yeah, tell me your idea. Okay, the, the people used to wake up or woke up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake, wake, wake up, up uh, without alarm clocks. Oh, but, I like your idea, but now. But now uh, they, they do. Now they do. Great idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you see. You didn't change the idea or the information. You just express that idea in a negative form. And that's it. Nada yeah. se los ocurre, expresan en negativo, and then compare with reality or with the present time. Yeah. Okay, so finish, please. Speaking time, because we only have two minutes, and then we come back to the main room. Great job, guys. Okay. Hello, did you, did you finish? Did you finish? Yeah. Um, you did? Wow, that was really fast. You know, I have some other groups. They are still discussing number two. You guys, you already finished. Okay, so you can come back to the main room. Thank you. Great job. Lo dibujaba a uno antes. ¿sí? Hello, group. Did you finish? Hello. Hello. Did you finish? More or less. <laughs> More or less. ¿Por cuál van? Number one, two, three, or four, or five? Number four. You're discussing number mm -hmm. four? All right. Tell me about number your four. idea. Oh. What people used to do before cameras. Oh. People used to photography. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay. <laughs> uh -huh. La telescope, estamos dudando. 
que <risa> podemos poner las claro. siglas, siglas, no sé cómo hay, siglas, okay. como catalejo. Wow, how do we say that in English? Vamos a I don't know. So, you know, hopefully mm -hmm. your classmates have a different idea about telescopes. If not, we are oh. going to come to, to something. Vámonos al grupo ya. Casi son las nueve. A great idea. Okay. Vámonos, let's go back. Okay. Yo tengo mi teléfono. Seventy-nine. Did you finish? Eighteen ninety-nine. Huh? Eighteen seventy-nine. Seven. Ah, okay. See. See. All right. Let me bring your classmates back because of time. We need to bring your classmates back. But did you finish? A uh, group number one: Stephanie, Dajana, Yvette, and Elmer. Did you finish? Yes, yes, I do. think so. Wow, I think so. Don't you worry. I know that sometimes we need some extra time in order to discuss the ideas. But we're going to listen to your classmates, all right? I guess the most difficult ones, it was about telescopes. Because we don't have that much information about that, right? Ya estamos todos de regreso, I guess, right? Let me find out. Class, give me your ideas for number one, what people used to do before the invention of number one. Televisions, what people used to do before the televisions. Mm -hmm. Apart from reading more books, what else? Give me some other ideas people used to. Yes. Before what? Number one, televisions. Oh, television, people used to read the newspaper. I don't know. Ah, read the newspaper. Vamos, más ideas, go please. To read the newspaper. That's it. Play in family? Yes, right, play in family. The people the used radio. to... Talk, talk more exactly. family. Family. people used to tell listen. Day stories exactly tell stories hey how about to eat together yes okay. right eat together as a family to listen to the radio wow imagine how about electric lights 1879 what people used to do before the electric lights invention used to, people used to, people used to be a candles people used to light sound light early okay okay <laughs> <laughs> what else people used to do yes people used to sleep early I guess this is what comes to our minds. This is quite interesting. Alarm. And the people. The people used to hear the roster. Okay. Yes. Yeah, the people used to be a roster. <laughs> right. Imagine. Eh, but. Ya cantó el gallo. Creo que ahora hasta los gallos son más modernos. Ya no cantan o sí. Do you still hear those? No. Ya no se escuchan, yeah. o si, you do? Yeah. Okay, and does it work? ¿Sí? ¿Será que reemplaza un, una alarma? Or not? Yeah. <laughs> no, right? Don't even try, ni siquiera se les ocurre probar, no. You better have your alarm <laughs> clock. In the city, yeah. don't. Yeah. Okay. Huh? Exactly, they don't, right? They don't use it. Tell me about cameras. This is quite interesting. Mm, the people oh, use the people the paint. Don't used to paint. Don't used to, used to paint. Yes. Or mm -hmm. the people used to draw. Draw. Se acuerdan de esto? Came painting. ¿Qué será esto? Cave painting. ¿Qué es una cave? Ah, la cueva. 
la cueva, pero creo que eso es ya demasiado antes, ¿verdad? To do the cave painting, right? Como en la era del hielo, right? To cave painting. Long, long time ago. How about the telescope? Did you bring any idea about that? Before the telescope. The people used to their eyes. To what? To use. The people used, used to, to used to their eyes. Oh, All right. Their eyes. Their eyes. Just like eyes. by looking, right? By looking. The Just stage. by looking, by looking. Okay. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué más? No se me ocurre nada before telescopes. People used to speak. No sé cómo se dice. Maybe. What was that again? Como catalejo, speak. Ah, okay. Un catalejo dice el... What is the... Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál sería la adaptación para Catalejo? Yes, right. Aha, uh -huh, interesting. Mm. Let me see if I can find out something. If not, please send that information to WhatsApp so we can learn a different type of vocabulary. Clase. Ya se no fue la clase. Imagínense, 902. Mm. Chicos, okay. ¿cómo sintieron este ejercicio? Used to. ¿Sí? Mm. Sí. Yeah. ¿Cómo sería sí. la, la traducción? Yo solía. Yo solía. Solía. Ok. Solía. solía. Algo que continuamos haciendo, ¿verdad? No. No. We stopped. Stop. Doing. Se quedó en el pasado. Solo es como una The forma past. de... Um, reportar ah, to remember right sí, or remember. in our we remember because sí, now we do probably similar activities but not sí. the same activity anymore yes so yes. whenever you want to make a comparison between the past and the present what is the structure that you are going to use Used to. ¿Sí? Used Para eso to. se ocupa el used to. En plataforma creería que hay un ejercicio de esos, right? I don't remember, but I guess we do have it. But you know what? We are going to check, check, on, check on that one tomorrow. Por el tiempo, chicos. Preguntas, comentarios. Vamos, los escucho. En Spanish, if you want. ¿Quedó clara la estructura del used to? ¿Sí? Yes. ¿El contraste yes. quedó claro si expreso negativo en el pasado? Claro, si estoy contrastando en el presente, tiene que ser una affirmative idea. Coach. Yes, Jeffrey. You could give a answer. For example, if mm -hmm. someone asks you, do you play soccer? You can respond... I used to. I used to. Ah, that is going to be a short form. Yep. I used to. Or you can use the complete form. I used to play soccer. Yeah. Exactly. Great. Okay. So do not forget that we can have affirmative statements, negative statements, and interrogative statements. As Jeffrey was giving the example, If somebody asks you about this part of information in the past, you need to make a response. In this case, just by remember the activities that you used to do. So class, vamos a pausar por acá por el tiempo. Gracias por el esfuerzo. Thank you so much for coming tonight, for participating. Tomorrow we are going to conclude with section yeah, number tomorrow. one. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. 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 Good